Sky fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is hindering, um, what is hindering this connection, what's blocking this connection, what's preventing this connection from flourishing, from manifesting. Um, this is going to be a general reading, guys. Please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. What a fire energy here, guys. Wow. What's going on here? What's preventing this connection from this union from manifesting here? Okay. There may be more than just two people involved here. Okay. It, it's feeling a little crowded. It's feeling like there's someone or something else that is possibly getting in the way and in the way of this connection so much so that it might be stunting the the natural growth of someone's feelings for you or your feelings for them or you know it's preventing this connection from flourishing manifesting in the way that it should so it could be that this person may be you know seeing someone else they may be um in a relationship with someone else um if they're not in a relationship with someone else then why do i get the sense that this person isn't present in your connection and what I mean by that is they may be torn here, okay? It feels like there's some sort of line and they're straddling the fence. They are torn between an ex, the person that represents the past, the life that they've built and established with, and you, the future, the fantasy, um, and, you know, the possibility of everything that could be. So it's a bit of a conundrum, right? Um, it just feels like this person is neither here nor there, okay? Their energy is a little bit scattered, and that way, how can they, how can this connection grow if they can't give it the time, the energy that it deserves? Could be you, though, because you're coming up as a fire sign, so I'm just saying it could be you, could be a person, could be the both of you kind of feeling the same thing or going through that same emotional experience, and you're both sort of just ricocheting off each other. Um, it feels a little bit one-sided okay someone he feels and I feel like it's maybe you you might be doing all the work if you stop and think and just really reflect on the connection is it you that's constantly reaching out initiating communication conversation is it you that's constantly making plans or is it you that's really over applying yourself okay constantly giving it that little bit extra, over committing, over applying yourself. And you do this because whether you realize it or not, naturally, subconsciously or unconsciously here, you're over committing because you're trying to overcompensate for your person's lack of efforts. And if you feel like, you know, if you overcompensate that you can achieve that sense of balance and equilibrium, but you can't, you can't because it's one-sided it's not balanced okay you can try and tell yourself a lie you can sugarcoat it fabricate it you can spin it any which way you want but the truth the truth is the truth guys um what else look there, there is naturally there's a lot of attraction here that the two of you feel towards one another okay and i think that whatever you have going on in this connection feels like there could be room 
in this connection and room and space for it to be so much more than what it is but it does feel like there is someone or something that's getting in the way now as i've mentioned for some of you it could be you know that they're seeing someone else or attached to someone else or maybe you're seeing and attached to someone else and you have feelings for this person but you also have feelings for that person and it's you know complicating things it could be that their work or their career is demanding all over their time and their energy and maybe a relationship is just something that they can't do right now okay maybe they you know they love you or they have feelings for you but they know that you they can't give you what they deserve and then them pulling themselves away from you is an is an, an attempt to protect you from being hurt or from feeling you know the sting of rejection at the end of the day distance is another thing maybe the two of you live really far from each other and you know the fact that you're not really neither of you uh not neither of you but Maybe someone here is struggling to find the time to constantly, like they may be struggling to find the time to come, constantly come and see you or have access to you. Maybe they're, you know, they're currently working, residing, or they're, they're doing a lot of traveling. And that's not only is that creating a geographical distance, you know, between the two of you, this physical space, but also an emotional distance because, you know, the then the affection and the intimacy that's waning here i think this person is really focused they're very driven on their career and they're very ambitious they're very focused on their career and i just don't know that this person is someone who can give like can maintain a relationship or can give their attention to a relationship I also feel like there's a lack of communication. This person doesn't always express, okay? Maybe the both of you don't always communicate and really trust each other with your feelings, okay? Maybe you feel as though if you really open up, you might be met with rejection here. Or if they open up, you might dismiss or discount their feelings. And look, maybe that's something you've done to each other in the past. So subconsciously, you go back to that. And that's what's sort of making you fearful of coming forward and opening up because the nine of swords something is keeping you up at night okay something is keeping you distracted something is keeping you up at night you know and whatever it is it's obviously threatening your peace of mind right or their peace of mind so what is it that bothers you and why is it that you can't express it you can't get it off their chest or your chest here um similarly well not similarly actually but I, I also think maybe if this person is in a relationship or in a commitment, in a connection to someone else, then it just feels like they don't know how to go about this situation. As I've mentioned, they're stuck, they're confused, they're torn. They also feel guilty for being attracted to you and having feelings for you. And at the same time, you know, being in a relationship or a commitment with someone else. There's this dark cloud that is hanging over someone's energy here and it's a, it's a sense of guilt and guilt is very much an entrapment that is immobilizing this person and preventing them from acting or moving forward here. So it feels like there's not just one thing that's you know preventing this union from manifesting. It feels like it might be a multitude, much like there's a multitude of swords here that you know is depicted in the Nine of Swords. There's a multitude of factors here that is preventing this union from manifesting from flourishing here i think that this person i think the fact that they're not communicating right now truthfully it's speaking volumes okay and i think you need to remember that especially for those of you um in which this resonates if there's no contact no communication or even if there is but you know it, it's not the same some you know they're acting weird lately i think you need to remember that you know no contact like them not responding is a message in itself and it's a very powerful message here okay learn to read between the signs learn to read the silence because silence it speaks volumes so let me tell you their silence is turning the volume way up here it's saying something what is it saying well that's a personal conversation that you know is up to you to interpret here but that's very important here. You know, the fact that maybe this person, if they're in a relationship with someone, then I feel like, I don't know that they're ready to move forward here. I think they want to, but wanting something and being ready for something, you know, they're two very different things, two very different sides of the pentacle here. So they may feel very attracted to you. They, you know, and the two of you might even have a bit of a fair, an affair going on here. I don't know that this person is ready to leave the comfort of their home. Right now, it feels like they're on the edge of the precipice, but there's an energy of fee that I detect here. I feel like they're scared of taking, making this initial move. I feel like they're scared of taking a risk because that's just it. They risk to possibly lose it all. 
or even gain it all, but still it's a risk that they're scared to take. Uh, I think they're trying to, the other thing is, I think right now what they need is, maybe the reason why this union isn't happening is because the both of you kind of need to, you know, remove yourselves from each other li from each other's life, and you kind of need to do your inner, some inner work. You both have things that you need to work through, work on, do some shadow work, some inner work, so that you could come back together and, you know, learn to express yourselves and your emotions in a healthy way. And hopefully this will allow the union to manifest and to blossom in the way that it should. Because there is potential, but sadly it, think, it feels like this potential <clears throat> isn't being realized. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.